In a startling revelation last night, Israel's military spokesman, Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari, disclosed that a mosque in the Zaytun area was not only a religious site, but mainly served as a clandestine factory for producing weapons and UAVs. ILTV's Devo Klein has the details. <laughs> הלוחמים מחטיבה 188 איתרו מעבדה לייצור אמצעי לחימה וכלי טיס בלתי מאוישים בתוך מסגד. אני רוצה שתבינו, מסגד במרחב זייתון משמש מעבדה לייצור לחימה. לוחמים נכנסים למסגד, מבצעים סריקה, אחרי שבדקנו שאין מלכודים, נכנסים לתוך המסגד הזה, מוצאים פיר. ביחד עם לוחמי יהלום, מוצאים פיר, בנוסף לפיר הזה ירידה ומדרגות, ושם מגלים סדנה לייצור רקטות. These were Hagari's words last night, as he provided details of the operation, explaining that troops entered the mosque, conducted scans to ensure safety, and then uncovered a hidden tunnel shaft and staircase within the premises. Hagari expressed strong condemnation, stating terrorists manufacturing rockets in a mosque, using Islam and the symbols of Islam to create terror. The Zaytun neighborhood, identified as a Hamas stronghold in the southern part of Gaza City, adds another layer of significance to this discovery. Hagari asserted that the IDF is committed to exposing Hamas's exploitation of civilian sites for terrorist activities and vowed to continue efforts to unveil such instances. This revelation raises concerns about the misuse of religious spaces for terror purposes, and adds to the large amounts of ammunition found every day among Gazan civilian infrastructure. What you can see is uh, uh, military equipment, full-scale military equipment. This is not something that was cooked in somebody's backyard. It is not something that uh, two people came to talk about. This is years-long planning, a lot of funding. There is huge money 